Hello everyone! Today is the day I'm finally going to embark upon the ocean caves, defeat them and bring the artifacts back home so I can use them for the boss battles. Now you're probably thinking, but wait, what do you mean you're doing ocean caves today? You don't have any teams. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got a story for you. This episode has been shit. Excuse my language, but this has been a really terrible episode. So it all started with a challenge issued by Loki that I had to tame a basilo without using any tames, so only a raft or a canoe. I took that challenge, I used my Dipacolas to farm some black pearls, and I got myself a motorboat. The very second I spawned that motorboat, an alpha leads had spawned and attacked it. I was panicking, it was really really funny, really really hilarious, and I really regret not being able to show you, because after I finally killed it, and I spent two hours attempting to tame a completely bugged out 145 Basilo, who took an hour in between each bite and whose progress kept on resetting, my computer rebooted and the footage got corrupted. So you don't get to see the really hilarious Alpha Leeds encounter, which I'm really gutted about. Now you're probably thinking, oh, okay, well, that's, that's unfortunate, but not too bad. <laughs> it does not end there. So with all my footage gone and the Basilo clearly bugged, I turn the server off, go away for dinner, come back and try again, and it's bugged for another two hours. I also tried to tame four other Basilos in the meanwhile, of which at one point, all five of them had their taming progress reset. There's another 140 female who was also entirely bugged out. The taming progress kept on resetting and it took an hour between each bite. Now I did also manage to get to level 100 Dunkley meanwhile. Now towards the end of this session, while feeding one of the Basilos, in the brief moment I dismantled my Diplocolus, an Alpha Megalodon had buffed a Tyrant Manta which instantly broke all of my armor and then killed me immediately on the second bite. And mind you, this is after hours of bugged out taming, corrupted footage, an entire break. It took like 12 hours by this point of the entire day's worth of sessions. So really angry, I got my stuff back, managed to save the Dipicolas, finished off whatever taming I had left. So the day after that session, which was also yesterday as of this session, I scrapped all of the footage I had and redid the video. I knocked out a level 100 male Dunkley. I also got swarmed and almost killed multiple times by dozens of sharks and eels, along with dolphins huddling over me so much I could barely move, as well as alpha megalodons aggroing and causing all mantas within render range abandon their basilos and come for me, which really bodes badly for the caves. Eventually, I got my male Dunkley, I got a breeding pair of sharks and an extra Dunkley, and I noticed towards the end as I was editing that half the commentary was gone. So here I am, started again for the third time. <laughs> I have my creatures, it's time to breed them all up and go do some caving. So just so you know, I actually did crash there and I even lost one of the Megalodon babies, but uh, I don't know, what can you do? So everything's now fully matured and I've had to breed more and more because of the bloody things despawning on me or clipping through the ground. Ow! God, that is terrifying. Please die faster. Ooh, that's scary. Die bears. <sighs> anyway, yeah. Oh, that was actually really scary. So I'm here to kill uh, destroyers. Don't think it hurt that much, but I'm here to kill destroyers because everything is now finished uh, maturing. So in the end, I got a Baryonyx, I got four Basilosaurus, three Dunkleys, and two Megalodon, and that makes my team of 10. And I'm hoping that by killing destroyers on my character, they'll get at least some of the experience in a Dino Souls. I'm pretty sure they do, you know, get some experience on mobs that you kill. I'm not like 100% sure, but it's definitely definitely a good way to test it anyway. So I'm just above the entrance for the first cave, and it's occurred to me, I've said this multiple times throughout the recording, but I'm not sure if it's actually made it in any of the cuts. So some of you are probably wondering, why am I doing this with such a strange little group of dinos, and why am I not just using basilos? So as I know you all know by now, the first challenge was to try and tame a basilo without using any tames. But there was a second challenge set by my husband Kevin, and that was to do the cave on the back of a Dunkley. So I couldn't ride a basilo. And god this hurts. Oh, bloody hell. What is my luck lately? <laughs> so as I was going to say that, let's just quickly level you a little bit. Ooh, that's uh, not burning well. Kev's challenge was that I had to do this on the back of a Dunkley and I could have a squad of up to 10. A squad of up to 10 other creatures and I can't summon anything out while I'm mounted. That is really fantastic. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to uh, nosh through these then and heal up afterwards. Wow, that was just a couple of little sharks and I really did take a lot of damage and dealt very little so that really does not bode well for this challenge. Oh goodness. Well, so my idea is I got the battlers to do the majority of the damage and that way they can also do damage when the others get stunned by the jellyfish. The Baronex will hopefully mitigate the damage and be able to do some stunts itself. 
The two sharks, which sadly I could not get a mate boosted pair, which I'm really gutted about. The sharks can inflict a bleed attack, so at least when they inevitably get stunned, they can bleed everything else. I'm gonna do the easy cave okay first. The one I actually managed to do before, but then I lost the artifacts in the other cave. And uh, oh, I'm not feeling good about this actually. But we'll just see, we'll just see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Now, before getting here, I did take a moment to kill a bunch of uh, destroyers for experience, but as it turns out, yeah, the creatures do not get experience in their soul balls. I thought they did, uh, but it absolutely did not work, and they only have about five levels each, which is really, ooh, really not ideal. I was hoping to like, give them like, a bump of their uh, melee before we got here, but apparently not. Right, and that is a whole squad named up, and probably I'm about to take them to their deaths. Now, of course, I would have loved to have named more after more people, but I've only got the 10, so, you know, <laughs> bear with me. It's just, just for the memes. Oh god, the Baryonyx is so... Damn you, Sparky, you're already giving me problems. In fact, I can already see I'm definitely going to need a marker for Sparky. He's just too tiny. And I'll go ahead and hide everything else. Right then, so the server has been on for a while. As I've said, this has been a very, very long episode of the making. The whole gang's here. Let's see what happens. So again, this is the easier cave and I'm already out of stamina. That's absolutely fantastic. This is the easier cave, so we'll just... We'll just see. Well, that's a good start. It's a red crate right there at the entrance. That's actually really easy. Oh, I should keep that one in mind for the future. And nothing's on me, so I suppose I'm safe? You know what? I was really, really hoping for a Therizina saddle. A Therizina saddle blueprint would make everything so worthwhile. All the annoyance, all the pain and all the issues. God game, please just give me a Therese, you know. If I got a Therese in a blueprint, I would just leave and put it away before I even finish the cave. I'll come back. Right then, the first bit of combat commences. Oh, I do see quite a bit of bleeding. Oh god, I'm so afraid of the jellyfish. And there's the first bit of jellyfish coming in, and that is a fair bit of damage. It's all small numbers, but it's rapid numbers. But... Things aren't doing work. All right, they're actually doing work. Let's go ahead and just whistle. <laughs> I ain't risking it. Yeah, there you go. Poor Cleric. Oh no, Cleric is really stunned. Oh, but so Sparky. Sparky did his job. Come on. Why won't the others attack? There we go. Gunnar and Loki coming in for the kill. And surprise, surprise, Sparky is already lost. I knew I made the right choice naming the Paralyx after Sparky. What are you doing, mate? Are you fleeing? Oh, for goodness sake, I bought the Basilo so they can deal with the jellyfish and they're just not doing anything. Oh, come on, girls. What are you? I'm not supposed to be swimming around here. I'm supposed to be on the dungly. They're actually not doing any... Fine. Go, go aggressive. I can't remember what the aggressive bind is. Oh, bugger. Well, there you go. Saga did it. Thank you, Saga. I got a couple of eels ahead and apparently, again, only Saga wants to... No, never mind. No one wants to attack the eels. Oh, there goes Cleric and Saga. <laughs> so them two are really up for it and are now taking significant damage. Go on, what's the rest of you doing? How are the bass- Am I in the wrong whistle group? Is that what's going on? Oh god, the basilos are really dumb. I know what it is. Oh no, I know why they're stupid. There's a massive floor I've been forgetting. They're below the um you know, their natural height limit. Oh god. Oh, I nearly died there. Yes, I forgot. If they're below their natural height limit, they start taking damage and they ignore whistles. That's why they've not been dealing with things. Right, well, in the harder cave, it's actually shallower, ironically. Or at least, uh, you know, it's, it can be a lot higher up. Ah, uh, that's why the strategy wasn't working. Right, I'm sorry to ride the bass load. That is technically cheating the challenge. But, um, you know, if I'm stunned, I'm stunned. I gotta do something. Okay, there we go. Now the Basilisk can attack, which is perfect. So just in time for a big Moser. Level 30. Oh, wow. <laughs> really impressive. And Sparky's lost in the back again. Sparky, mate. What are you doing, fam? Now, if you're wondering, I really would not recommend doing a strategy. This is absolutely terrible. I'm getting stuck in everyone's collision constantly. Half of them are barely responding. Oh, the Moser did die, though. At least I think I got that one job right. This is... This is really, really bad. Oh god, and Saga's nearly dead! No, Saga! Alright then, well, at least uh, here's the artifact. Woo! I'm actually gonna take it back to base this time so that even if I do die in the next cave, at least I get to keep something. Um, any loot crates today? There can be one over there. There is not. And there can be one over there. 
And there is. Hey. Oh, bloody nearly died to falling my own freaking diner. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. Please. There is, you know, blueprint. Pelagon's blueprint. Thanks. Okay, any more loot crates down here? No, don't think so. All right then. Well, that was a complete and utter shit show. <laughs> now let's go do it uh, in the other cave. So I was just in the process of summoning the gang out and I got attacked while I was changing all their uh, following thingamabobs to high. And I've lost three of them. Don't know where they've gone, but I'm missing three dinos. Okay, here's one of them stuck all the way up on the beach. What the hell, dude? Any others around you? No. Oh, what the hell? They're all the way over here. God. I don't think I've ever had so many different things go wrong in a single episode before. Oh, by the way, another thing that I'm not sure whether or not it's actually made it into the video. Um, you're probably thinking, why not Moses and Tuso's? Uh, simply put, I couldn't find any. I did stop and look at every single Moses and Tuso I could find while looking for Dunkleys and Basilos and everything else. I looked at as many as I could and there just simply wasn't anything above, like, 20. That was nice when the was actually get involved this time. Yay! We killed something big! I'm proud of you guys! I'm so proud! Hmm. That wasn't scary at all. All of these bloody jellyfish coming up to me as an alpha shark and the bloody Basilos <laughs> took far too long to respond. Alright then. Here we go then. This is what the days upon days of effort has amounted to and there's a bunch of bloody jellyfish right behind me. So, if we all remember then, Last time, I entered the cave and immediately got destroyed. So this time round, what I'm going to try to do, because uh, the fact that the Baslows won't attack below a certain range is such a, you know, gut punch to my plan. And I would not be surprised there's another alpha shark camping the entrance. Just like last time. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to inch my way in. I go, oh God, the stamina's really awful. What is the stamina on this? Wow, it's not even that bad. Anyway, I'm going to inch my way in, get their attention, get that aggro, and then cut them all outside. Right, so that's when the sharks are shot, so if there's any alphas nearby, that should get pulled right there and then. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's another bloody jellyfish. Wait, where did everything... Where did they all go? Oh, my God. Everything... Oh. Well, in the end, the grand total of one singular shark swam out. Where is that basilar going? I have no idea. Where are all the others? Why is that Dunkley AFK over there? Oh my god, I am really developing newfound hatreds for everything this episode. Look, where are they going? Why are they fleeing? And of course, there goes another one, just for no reason, fleeing. Okay, I've barely even entered the cave at once. <laughs> everyone already dispersed. So, screw it, I'm mocking everyone. Now, stay here, stay on passive, and I'm going to go and get another shark. Oh, of course, there's a whole bunch stuck in the wall. Where were you earlier? I mean, normally it's not a problem, but the thing is so slow and has such bad stamina, I can't... <laughs> It's like the slowest thing and I can probably can't outrun it. Oh, at least they're all outside now. And they finally, finally made out the cave. My god, and one of them is doing 306 damage. And the Basilos are leaving. And so is the... Why? Like, actually why? Alright then, guys. You all know this. I'm a stubborn person. I'm a very, very stubborn person who does not back away from challenges. But this time, I'm just going to say no. I'm packing everything away and I'm going to do it the right way with a battle. This is, this has been too much. The one thing I've learned about a challenge is that Ocean AI is a thousand times worse than I already thought it was. I've always hated Arc Oceans because the AI is really dumb. But a tamed AI is on a whole nother level. And just in case anyone's wondering, you can see Zachary there was fleeing. 
Let's just quickly go check him real quick. He is on, he's on attack my target. He is not on passive flee. None of them are on passive flee. Yeah, tamed ocean AI. Something's very, very broken with it. Oh my God, you know it's a bad day when a basilo feels fast. <laughs> All right then, here we go. <laughs> it's an actual crack at the cave because I could not be doing with the with the dinos fleeing after every single, you know, fraction of a battle. Before it even started, they were just fleeing. Makes no sense. And I'm good with my whistles, right? I, I will admit fault, but I'm good with my whistles. That's one thing I can do very well in this game, is whistle dinos to behave. And uh, that time, mm-mm. They just weren't behaving. Right then. Oi, Gnar, fam, go. Mush. So I don't want to jump too far ahead and get absolutely swamped by alphas. I'm going to have to take this on steady because again, these are like severely buffed creatures as well. As always, well, a lovely thing to keep in mind. Yeah, legendary, right there. <laughs> I'm not sure this would have been possible, to be honest. Like, if had the AI actually been working, I'm still not sure this would have actually been possible just due to the sheer raw damage from the buffed creatures and how tanky they are. As I have noticed that even the regular low-level creatures, they take a ton of damage. And I'm mate boosted right now with a with an ascendant saddle. 89 armor. Oh my god, that one shark took unreasonably long to kill. <laughs> oh god. All right, here comes one shark, which means a whole bunch of others are probably about to aggro as soon as I start attacking. Yep, here they come. I feel like this is a good time to remind everyone that I do jump cut the crap out of these battles and I do spend an egregious amount of time just sitting here, clicking, tanking, lots and lots of clicking. Not very helpful when the other one is, you know, too high up above and can't actually fight back either. So I'm just kind of just sitting there. I'm clicking. Now the big question here is, is there any supply crates that I very much deserve to get? Any supply crates whatsoever. I will kill Dunkley if I have to. I will get that bloody Therizina blueprint and everything will be worthwhile and I don't have to cope as much anymore. Nope, I'm not seeing anything. If anything, the cave is um, really under spawning. I've seen like gargantuan amounts of- oh wait, is that a red crate right there? No, those are eels. Yeah, I've seen gargantuan amounts of, um, what called again? Uh, like Tussos and Moses in here, and I'm not seeing a single one. Uh, oh, I knew I should have not put you on follow. Please tell me you can come out with me. If not, Gunnar's dead. Oh dear. Go on, Gunnar. Ah, oh, you wank. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Yes, good I, I, I always believed in you, mate. I always believed in you. Alright, let's make our way upwards. Make our way all the way upwards. As far up as I can possibly reach. And, uh, whew, time for the first high level Alpha Shark. Oh, thankfully you're alone. Thank God. No, oh, not anymore. Right. These are doing significant damage. Wow, it's the eels. Well, actually, and the epic shark down there. This is doing sick. I, I can't do more than what I'm already doing now. All I can do is just hope that the alpha shark dies quickly. It's getting very bloody. Oh no, what level are you? You're, on, you're only 40. You're only a level 40. And you know, it doesn't matter because these other sharks are so powerful. I am truly starting to feel that uh, double spawns with the buff creatures, or even just double spawns alone actually, I don't think this is actually doable. Oh god. And the other one's just not really doing anything useful. I've got the good saddle, mind you, so he can already be nearly dead. Some of the sharks are very close to dying. As soon as a couple die and the mate boost bonus flies off, I suppose there's a pack bonus as well, plus seven. I forgot they actually get the bonus in the wild. Right, just two left, just one left. Oh. Let's put you on passive so you stay still for a bit. 
Wow! What level are you? You're only a 180! I mean, that's strong, don't get me wrong, but it, it could have been a lot higher. <gasps> wow, and how's Gunnar doing? He's also screwed. Okay, just dropped off a whole bunch of crap, and I'm actually going to leave Gunnar up here for a bit. I'm going to go in myself, because I'm a lot faster by myself, and just bait out any more creatures inside. Oh, like that one shark right there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Dunkleys. What is in here? A whole load of crap. Uh, okay, well, again, quite close now, so let's go ahead and back out and do it all over again. Well, thankfully, those ones came in so slowly that I actually staggered the buff, I think. At least I felt like it. I was able to kill them all rather quickly in the end, thankfully. Yeah, that was much more palatable, that one. Okay, we've still got a couple more sharks left. I think I could probably take them on without the buff. And I'm quite tempted to try my luck. Just gliding through and hopefully not aggro the Dunkleys. I think, um... Really, really ballsy move about to occur. Oh, oh. Stupid bloody, stupid angler. I did see a 280... Uh, shark, which I don't like with that. Oh, you know what? I grab you know what? That's perfect. Yep, please aggro me now. Whew, that one really took a while to kill. Okay, I think that's all the sharks done. So I'm gonna go ahead then and just book it because the dunkies appear to be unresponsive and I will take advantage of that. Oh, the eels on the other hand is a big concern. The dunkies, oh, that is so many eels. That is a dangerous amount of eels. <gasps> oh, that is scary. Uh, thankfully they're not alpha buffed this time like they were last time. Oh god, yeah, like imagine being in it. I mean, I wouldn't be able to bring the pack in here, to be honest. I'd have to leave like half of them outside. And I- oh no, imagine entering this room with my donkey, because it'd be impossible to like, get every single one to correctly path out. Okay. I've killed enough of them, I think. There's another shark right there. Oh, what is in this room? Oh! Surprisingly, nothing terrible. You know, I really do wish I brought my otter for this. I didn't bring the otter because I only had the one and I didn't want it to die. But at the same time, screw ever coming back here again. Right then, I'm gonna gracefully make my way out. And I miraculously did not pull that dunkley. I could have sworn I touched it, but I didn't, so fantastic. There does not seem to be any loot crates in here anyway. I will go peer into the other area. I probably won't do it, but I will just have a look and scout and see if it's worth my effort, because otherwise, if not, I do believe I'm done here. I am very surprised and very relieved at the lack of any Moses or Tussos, because like I said, I have seen- oh, there's an Alpha- is that an Alpha or is that a Tyrant? Ooh! Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Um, yeah, no, there's just been no Moses or Tussos. I'm, I'm really grateful, I really, really am. But, gotta admit, also very surprised. A uh, whole bunch of other crap in there. Yeah, a bunch more sharks of varying degrees. Oh, so there's a yellow crate all the way at the end, but you know what? I honestly just don't think it's worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead then, turn around, get a Gnar, and leave. Oh goody, the sharks are actually respawned in that short amount of time I was in here. Goes to show that that short amount of time wasn't actually that short after all. It was just so much, just spam clicking. Okay, well, that's a really anticlimactic end to the episode, but I did get the artifact. Um, I'm calling it there. <laughs> I am so sorry if this has been like a, you know, a really grumpy episode. This has been a lot. Wow. But, 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 cheer up, because this means I can now do the bosses. Oh, thank goodness. And I am never doing this again. This was just a miserable experience. Not not because of the challenges. The challenges were fine, actually. It's more the game mechanics itself. The mods... I think the mods would have been okay if it, you know, if it weren't for the stupid AI and pathing and ludicrous amounts of HP and just all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Like, maybe it still probably would have been a bit too difficult or not even possible. I, I, I don't know. But the just the, the dinos fleeing at the end there on top of everything else that's been going on the dinos fleeing really was just the final straw anyway bosses i can do the bosses i've got every single artifact i don't know why that sounds like a rap but there we go then Brrr, thank you for watching <laughs> thank you I, I hope watching me suffer brought you well, maybe not joy, but something. <laughs> I hope it was a good watch at the very least. I'm packing it in. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all 
in a much better next episode of the long-awaited boss run. Take care and have a wonderful day.